on, let's take a look at multiple choice number four. So we have the probability of obtaining a head when a certain coin is flipped is about 65%. So right out the gate, I see probability and I see the 65%, but if we're flipping a coin, this is a, a trick coin, right? Because typically um, you flip heads and tails 50-50. So there's, it's, it's weighted towards that head. Okay, great. So it says, which of the following is closest to the probability that the heads would be obtained 15 or fewer times when the, this coin is flipped 25 times? All right, so reading through that, to me, buzzwords that stand out are probability, right? And I can see from my answers that I, I'm going to be calculating some sort of probability, some sort of number between zero and one. And the other thing is it, it says, I'm going to flip it 25 times. So I want you to imagine you're flipping this coin 25 times and you're keeping track of the number of times that you flip a head, right? And then we want to see if that, how likely is it that that happens 15 or fewer times. So my variable in this case is the number of times that I flip a heads, right? So I should say number of heads flipped in 25 trials. And you can imagine if you're flipping this coin, it, is it, it might not be likely, but it is possible to get zero heads flipped, one head flip, two heads flip, all the way up to you could get 25 heads flipped, right? So in each individual toss, you're thinking heads or tails, but over the course of this experiment, you're going to keep track of, hey, how many heads did I flip in 25 trials? So we have a discrete numerical variable, which means we're going to be looking at a chapter four problem. But before I even go there, right, I, I don't want to make a table that has 26 columns to it, right? That sounds terrible. So let me go check if this thing is binomial. Because if it's binomial, I get some shortcuts. So I do have a fixed number of trials. I can count a success as a head flip, right? Coin flipped heads. All right. If, if we think about how coins are structured, the trials are independent. Whether you flip ahead the first time or second time or third time has no bearing on the rest of your coin flips. And they told me that the probability of success, again, if we look at success, it's flipping ahead. Well, they told us that probability over here. They said it was 65%. So I do have a binomial variable. All right, so I have 25 trials and the chance of success on one individual trial is 65%. But we're gonna look over the probability of getting 15 or fewer successes over the course of this entire experiment. Okay, so I want the probability that x is, now 15 or fewer means less than or equal to 15. All right, and we have a direct calculator command for that. We have binomial CDF. And I would go ahead and enter 25, that's the number of trials, 65%, and then 15. Now I'm gonna cut over to my calculator app and take a look at this, and then I wanna talk about some, just some, alternate versions of this question that we could have looked at. All right, so let me flip to my, if I can get there, my calculator, clear all of this out. So let's go into second vars. Down here, it's option B. Uh, on my calculator, there's binomial CDF. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in 25 and then 0.65. And then I wanted, if I remember correctly, I think that said 15 or fewer. And let's see, that is about 37%. So let me go back here and type in, oops, or enter in 0.37 and look for the answer. There it is with B. Now I do wanna say there's a couple, let, let's pretend some things were just written differently just so we could, we could practice this. What if, and let me get, um, actually let me go to the pen. I think if I do the pen, I can get rid of this. What if this had just said 15 times, right? If it had said exactly 15, you would have put the equal sign here and you would have done binomial PDF of 25, 65%, and then 15, and crunched that number, right? Let me give you another alternate. What if it had just said, hold on, let me erase this. What if this had said um, fewer than 15 times? What if this was here, if it just said fewer than 15, right? What if they wanted the probability that X was strictly less than 15, right? And I wanna point out that is different than less than or equal to. So what if we had changed that symbol to strictly less than? Well, less than 15 
is like saying less than or equal to 14. And you might be like, what, what are you talking about? Imagine you had the table. I don't want to make this whole table, right? But if we had 0, 1, 2, all right? And if I'm going all the way up to 25, but let's get the like the 14s, the 15s, and the 16s in here, okay? So if I want less than, strictly less than 15, 0 is strictly less than 15, 1 is strictly less than 15, 2 is... 14 is strictly less than 15, but, and I'm going to change colors, 15 is not strictly less than 15, 16 isn't, none of these are, so I would only want 14 on down, so that's when, oops, excuse me, that's when we would have done binomial CDF of 25, 65, and then 14. All right, so now let's flip this, let me, let me get rid of this, what if this had said 15 or more, right, so what if let me erase this here. What if this had said 15 or more times? Well, then we would have done the probability that x was greater than or equal to 15. And let me go ahead and erase, if I can, very carefully some of these things that I have highlighted here. If I wanted greater than or equal to 15, then we would go back through. Let me get the green. Or actually, let me start with the red. All right, if I want greater than or equal to 15, 0 doesn't count, 1 doesn't, 2 doesn't, 14 doesn't, but 15 does, 16 does, right? So I want greater than or equal to 15, but if I want 15 or higher, if I wanted these numbers here, keep in mind those numbers plus all of these numbers have to total out to 1 so I can use the complement rule. This is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 14. So I could subtract out that binomial CDF if I wanted to. All right, and I just wanted to give you guys some tweaks on how that question could pop up. All right, so this is chapter four. This is specifically a, bin a binomial probability. All right, so I hope that helps. Thanks so much. Bye.